Germany is preparing to expand its future fleet of F-127 class frigates, with current planning now pointing to as many as eight ships. Until recently, the expectation had been to procure five vessels with an option for a sixth. According to reporting from Hartpunkt, sources familiar with the program now say eight ships are being considered. This change corresponds with figures published by Politico, which reported that next June's submission to the Parliamentary Budget Committee foresees about 26 billion euros, 30.6 billion dollars, for the program. That sum is expected to include not only construction but also weapon systems. The new frigates are designed for air defense and will for the first time give the German Navy the ability to counter ballistic missiles. The ships are to be built by TKMS and NVL, which have created a joint venture with TKMS holding the majority stake. The design will be based on the TKMS-developed Miko A400 AMD. The US Aegis combat system, developed by Lockheed Martin, is planned as the central command and control suite. For the radar, the Raytheon Spy 6 has reportedly been chosen over Lockheed Martin Spy 7, though the final decision awaits confirmation by the Bundeswehr's Inspector General. An additional contract for more F-127s would provide momentum for both shipbuilders. TKMS is in the process of separating from its parent company, ThyssenKrupp, ahead of a stock market listing. NVL is meanwhile being acquired by Rheinmetall, with the deal expected to close in the coming months. Another procurement decision looms over the F-126 class frigates, designed primarily for anti-submarine warfare. That program has been delayed due to technical problems with the Dutch prime contractor Damon. According to reports, software issues prevented the proper transfer of design data to German yards. Industry sources indicate that three options have been under discussion, continuing with Damon as prime, cancelling the project outright, or transferring leadership to a German yard. Today in Lintau, Harold Fassmer, president of the German Shipbuilding and Ocean Industries Association, BSM, suggested a fourth possibility, continuing the F-126 while acquiring an interim solution. Observers say this two-track approach is being considered in Berlin. Considerable investment has already been made in the design phase, with subcontractors such as Thales supplying the combat management system. Shifting prime responsibility to NVL, already the largest subcontractor through its subsidiary Blom plus Voss, is viewed as a likely outcome. As a bridge capability, industry watchers believe TKMS could be tasked with building Miko 200 class frigates. These ships are adaptable, proven in service, and could be delivered quickly thanks to existing supply chains, including steelwork from Rahner. They are also suitable for anti-submarine operations and can be modified for use in Arctic waters. Analysts estimate that four Miko 200 would cost only slightly more than two F-126. If approved, insiders suggest the first ship could be delivered to the Navy as early as autumn 2029. Still, Bundeswehr sources caution that procuring both the F-126 and Miko 200 in parallel would be difficult to manage. A more likely scenario would be a choice between the two, with priority placed on moving the F-126 forward if possible. The defense ministry is under pressure to act quickly. With the Russian threat described as the decisive factor, time rather than funding is the main constraint. Parts of the German shipbuilding industry, such as GNYK and Kiel, are already on short-time work as they await contracts tied to the F-126. As Hartpunkt reported, the final decision rests with the Ministry of Defense, which must balance industrial stability with the Navy's urgent need for new ships.